swingers and internet dwellers, this is P.T. Pop with another episode of Pete's Epiphanies. Today I'm going to talk about restless leg syndrome, also known as RLS in the medical world. Got to give it an acronym. If it doesn't have an acronym, it's not a valid disease. Um, restless leg syndrome is something I used to suffer from for years, years I could not sleep at night. It was torture, absolute torture. And for those of you that are wondering, restless leg syndrome, based off of one of the best um, references on the internet, this said dripping with sarcasm, uh, from Wikipedia, the definition of restless legs is a disorder that causes a strong urge to move one's legs. This is often an unpleasant feeling in the legs that improves somewhat with moving them. Occasionally, the arms may be affected. The feelings generally happen when at, and at, when at rest or at sleep. Um, therefore, can make it hard to sleep. It makes it impossible to sleep for me, it did anyway. Due to the disturbance in sleep, people with RLS may have daytime sleepiness, low energy, irritability, and depressed mood. So anyway, I had this RLS for years and years and years. It, it drove me crazier than I already was or am. And... I, it got so bad for me, I, I couldn't sleep at all. I'd sleep for like 20 minutes and then I'd be like, I'd be asleep and then I felt like I had to run and my, and my legs were like, uh, uh, I'd be like, oh my God. And I'd wake up and I'd be like, uh, uh, you know. And for those of you that suffer with this, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and uh, so I went in for sleep studies at a local clinic in Phoenix, Arizona, where I lived at one time. And, you know, they put me on, you know, brain monitors and breathing monitors, and they, they videotaped me. And uh, after two sessions and several hundred dollars or something, like, you got uh, sleep apnea, young man, and yeah, you're going to need to go on a sleep, a sleep pap machine or a CPAP machine, they called it. I think it's CPAP. And... Uh, let me see if I'm right. I think that's right. It's this weird, weird, awful machine that they that you put over your nose. Yeah, it's a CPAP machine. And uh, this thing, you put like these thing, this gas mask over just your nose, and it blows puffs of air into your nose while you sleep. So you're like, you know, all night long. It's got water, a little bubbler in it, and it would get moldy. So you just to clean it out. It was a total pain. It didn't help me sleep at all. It didn't make the RLS go away. But they were making a fortune off of me for sleep studies and CPAP machines and all this stuff. So they decided to put me on a sleeping pill called Ambien. And if, and if you know anything about Ambien, it's well known to cause people to walk in their sleep. And it did it to me. I, I woke up one night. I was sleeping in my brother-in-law's house down in Columbus. This is years ago. And um, I had taken a leak in his bathroom, but all over the bathroom. And, uh, you know, his Ohio State Buckeyes, you know, toilet seat cover was saturated. And I went, oh, what the hell are you doing, Pete? What, what are you doing in his bathroom peeing on the toilet? I I had lost my mind on Ambien. And I, one night I woke up while I was on Ambien, you know, a couple of years later. And I'd taken it off and on for a couple of years. And um, there was a bottle of mouthwash next to the bed. Big giant bottle of scope sitting on the floor next to the bed. I must have been drinking in my sleep. I don't know what I was doing with the bottle. So, uh, Ambien was taken out of the picture. I stopped taking the Ambien. So, I thought, well, if these doctors are going to put me on medication, why don't I just medicate myself? I'll just drink wine. So, I went out and I started taking um, Advil PM. And I'd have a glass of wine. That would knock me out. I'd sleep for about two, three hours. I'd be wide awake, wide awake after that. Or off, and I'd have the restless leg thing. It'd just be, you know, running in my sleep like on the bionic man. So um, I started to try to figure out for myself what was going on because the doctors didn't know. The doctors had no clue. Most doctors, I'm finding, they're, they're doing guesswork anyway. Well, it could be uh, microcosmic accessions coming from the moon. Oh, really? Microcosmic accessions, doctor? Let me get some of microcosmic medicine. Um, how much will that cost me? Well, $1,000 a pill. So I started looking to it myself, and I said, you know what? What if it's something in my diet? 
So I started doing some research on the internet, which is just just the giant cesspool of misinformation and people guessing and stuff. But a lot of the studies I read said that gluten will cause restless leg syndrome. So I started down the path that everybody else in the country is on right now, the gluten-free diet. So uh, that seemed to fix a little bit, but not really. It was still there. It was still, it would still raise its ugly head every now and then. And I thought, what is this, you know? And then one time I took some cold medication. I, and it occurred to me that I, I, I got the same. And the restless leg thing is like this creepy feeling in your nether regions. It's like this really weird feeling like in your groin, your lower abdomen, and your legs. And it just feels like real creepy. Like you just got to move your legs. And it's a really odd feeling. And you can't sleep because you constantly get this creepy weird feeling and it wakes you up. And, I re- and it occurred to me that while I take cold medication like NyQuil or Theraflu, that I would get the same thing. It would just totally make me feel like restless leg feeling. And I thought, well, maybe there's something that I'm eating that has some type of ingredient that's in this cold medication. It's also in my food. Now, I know that sounds odd. Here in America, where all the food is just wonderful and it's pure and the FDA has approved it, so it means it's healthy for us all and we all believe it. We go, whoa, it's FDA approved. It's good. And uh, so I eliminated gluten, but that didn't really solve it. And then we moved back to Ohio. We were in Arizona, and for a long time, I really believed it was a combination of the gluten diet I was on, and it was also the hot weather, because I have a very hard time sleeping when it's hot. Because in Arizona, no matter how cold the air conditioning is, when it's 118 degrees outside, for some reason for me, I could never kind of get cool. I was always hot, and it was awful. I'd have fans on in the room, and I'd have you know cold packs on my head. It was just complete torture. So we moved back to Ohio where it's not that hot and it's cold and like it is today, snowing. And I started to sleep better when in a cold room, but I still had this anxious feeling, this this restless leg thing. So what I did is I thought, you know what? I wonder if it's the water I'm drinking because it, it followed me to Ohio. I thought maybe it's this bottled water I'm drinking. And I'm not going to show the, the name brand of this. We all drink bottled water it seems to be a trend that everybody in the country is i thought it was just people in phoenix because you have to be hydrated like constantly out there because if you're outside for like 20 minutes in the hot sun you dehydrate you don't sweat the sweat evaporates off of your brow before you know you got this horrible headache and you're like oh my god why do i have such a headache and then you realize you're dehydrated because your body is just like depleted of all water from the heat so anyway Everybody around the country is drinking these these water bottle products, right? We're all drinking them. And I thought, well, I wonder if there's something in this water. Because I had seen some things on the internet that the water in the bottled water isn't really from mountain springs with goats peeing in them and stuff. It's it's manufactured probably. It says it's you know manufactured in Chicago, Illinois, but it's really probably manufactured in Yugoslavia or someplace near, you know, Three Mile Island or something. And I'd seen some of these. I left a bottle of water once. It just sat forever in my studio in an old house, and it turned moldy. It turned moldy, and I thought, well, that's not good. How would water turn moldy? And that was after like a month just sitting there. So I thought, maybe it's something I'm drinking. So what I, what I did is I eliminated bottled water or bottled water. And um, my restless leg syndrome went away swear to you on a bible if i had a bible i'd swear on it i don't swear in this book whoop, whoop. i swear my mother's grave i swear my father's grave they're both dead on any relative that i have previously known as past i swear to god i stopped drinking bottled water and my restless leg syndrome went away completely gone and uh, all I can say to you is I don't know what's in this bottled water. I don't know what they purify it with. I don't know if there's some type of anti, uh, anti-decongestant or a decongestant or a, some type of... Um, there must be a purifier or something in it. And if I had some type of way of, of chemically testing the water to see what was inside of it... Because let me look at this bottle. It says, uh, nutrition facts, serving size 8 ounces, 8 fluid ounces... Uh, two servings, amount per serving, calorie zero, fat zero, 
Sodium zero, carb zero, sugar zero, protein zero. There's nothing in it. Ingredients, purified water, calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate. Hmm. Calcium chloride by sodium bicarbonate. Hmm. Let's look up that. What is that? Sodium chloride. That's salt, isn't it? What is that? Sodium something salt. Sodium chloride. What is sodium chloride and how is it used? Sodium chloride is a more commonly known as salt or table salt. Okay. What was the other thing? Sodium bicarbonate, I think it said. Oh, calcium chloride, sorry. Calcium chloride. Calcium, not sodium chloride. Combine the two. Cal, calcium Calcium chloride. What's an ice melter? Huh. Calcium chloride is an inorganic compound of salt with a chemical formula, CaCl2. It's a colorless, crystalline solid at room temperature, highly soluble in water. Calcium chloride is commonly encountered in one of various hydrated solids with, gen with generic formula, CaCl2, H2O. Where x equals 0, 1, 2, 4, and 6. Well, I'm sorry, my chemistry class is very, very long ago. These compounds are mainly used for de icing and dust control. Are you kidding me? Ingredients purified water, calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate. Sodium, am I reading this right? Purified water, calcium chloride. Sodium bicarbonate. Let's see what sodium bicarbonate is. Sounds like some type of... Uh... Now this is again from Wikipedia what I'm reading from. Sodium bicarbonate is a chemical compound. It is a salt composed of sodium ions and bicarbonate ions. It's a white solid that is crystalline but often appears as a fine powder. It is slightly salty, resembling that of washing soda. The natural mineral from form is nacolite. It is a component of mineral natron. Since it has long been known and is widely used that the salt has many related names such as baking soda, bread soda, cooking soda, and bicarbonate of soda. What? Well, this is just one brand. This is a generic brand of bottled water we buy from our local grocery store. So you've got to ask yourself a question. Why is there sodium bicarbonate, which is basically baking soda in our water? Anyway, who knows what else is in it? My point is here, I don't know what's in the water. And I wrote a song about it called Something in the Water because after I eliminated this water, it occurred to me we're probably all being poisoned in some way or another by what we eat. You know, there's, I'm not going to get into all of the things about genetically modified organisms and the chemicals they spray in our food, and they've been doing it for centuries. But um, there's something in this water. I tell you this stop drinking bottled water. Stop it. It's bad enough there's lead in all the pipes east of the Rockies because our infrastructure here in the east is just is deplorable. It's all caving in and falling apart but there's something in the water that we're drinking in the bottles that does not our bodies does not like and i guarantee if you have restless leg syndrome stop drinking the water if this helps you write to me and say thank you pete you saved my life i can sleep again without shooting up you know if not then you know i have no idea what it is it helped me that's all i know so restless leg syndrome there's a possible cure for it right there hope that helps Say hello to the eye. I painted that one day. I thought it was so cool when I painted it. I was like 20 years old. And look, at, you know, there's nothing I'm proud of, but it looks kind of good in the background. Have a good night, and thanks for watching Pete's Epiphanies.